In this exercise, we're going to create an orthographic projection of the object shown. Now this is a difficult exercise, so we're going to have to really think about what we know and what information we can get from other views. So let's start by shading in the surfaces that we'll see when we view the object from the front. As I mentioned in the exercise description, this object really isn't completely dimensioned. There are a few ambiguous features. First, let's concentrate on the slot in the bottom part of the object. The slot ends at the same point that the top surface angles down. Watch the line that I draw. The other feature that's not completely described is the angled surface coming from the top. Now if that surface was allowed to continue, it would stop directly at the center line of the drilled hole. Watch the line that I draw. Take time now to get familiar with the front view. Imagine how it will look. What lines do you know how to draw and what lines are we going to have to wait on? When you're ready, try to draw some of the visible features of the front view. The grid spacing is 10 millimeters. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. I have drawn some of the visible lines of the front view, at least those that are easy to construct. Notice the angled line. I mentioned before that if the angled surface was allowed to continue, it would go directly to the center line of the drilled hole. I didn't complete it, however. I left part of it as being construction, because physically it doesn't go to the center line of the drilled hole. We need to determine where it actually ends. Also notice that I didn't include the counterbore and drill at this time because that feature is going to be rather easy to add at the end. Let's complete the angled line. Look at the pictorial. You'll notice that the angled surface ends 5 millimeters above the top of the drilled hole surface. So let's draw a construction line 5 millimeters above that surface. The angled surface ends where the angled yellow line meets the horizontal yellow line, so let's draw a vertical yellow line where that occurs. Now let's fill in the remaining visible features of the angled surface. If you're following along on a worksheet, take time now to draw the visible features that are shown. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Even though the front view is not complete, let's move on to the top. Let's shade the surfaces that you're going to see when you view the object from the top. Get familiar with the top view. How is it going to look? Now draw the projectors that will frame in the top view. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. I have constructed the defining box for the top view. Take some time and fill in the visible lines that you're capable of. You may not be able to fill in all of them. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. I have filled in some of the visible lines. Notice that the line that indicates where the top surface angles down, I didn't complete because I don't know where that line ends until I fill in the angled line on the front of the object. So let's go ahead and do that. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Now let's project back to the front view where the front side angled surface ends, and then we can add that feature to the front view. Let's add the center lines for the drilled hole in the top view. We also need to indicate, using a construction line, where the spot face is in the top view. 
Let's do that. Now we have all the construction lines needed to fill in the visible features of the spot face in the top view. So let's go ahead and do that. We can also add the drilled hole. We can now project the spot face feature from the top view back to the front view and fill in its hidden features. Take some time to fill in the features that we've drawn onto your worksheet. Make sure you understand how each feature was obtained. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Now let's turn our attentions to the right side view. Take time to shade in the surfaces that you think you will see when you're viewing the object from the right side. Then create the defining box for the right side view. Remember, you need a 45 degree angle projector, then you project over from the top view and down, and this will create the area where the right side view will be placed. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Now that we know where the right side view will be placed, let's fill in some visible lines. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. We have filled in all the visible lines in the right side view except for those attached to the spot face. That's a little more difficult, so let's take that step by step. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Add a projector that goes from the highest point of the spot face in the front view over to the right side view. Look at the object from the right side. Notice where the angled surface ends. You're going to see two rectangles. Let's fill those in. When we look at the spot face from the right side, we're not going to see a straight surface where the spot face ends, nor are we going to see a regular circle. It's going to be more of an arc. So let's fill that in. Take a moment to fully understand how each feature was created. Then take a look and see which features we're still missing. We're still missing some visible features and some hidden features. Try to fill those in. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Fill in the missing hidden lines in the right side view. Remember, we're saving the counterbore and drill for the end. Now let's add the counterbore and drill features. We need to add that in all three views. When you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. So this is the finished orthographic projection. It was challenging to construct. But remember, if something is challenging and you don't quite know where to start, start with the simple features. Draw what you know. Go to the next view. See what else you can develop, and eventually the whole drawing will be completed. In the next slide, I'm going to show you an AutoCAD representation of the sketch that we just completed. You can see the object much more clearly in that type of drawing. So when you're ready to proceed, select the Continue button. Well, I hope this was helpful. See you in the next exercise.